OMG, I made $10,000 this month. I made $100,000 this year. We have all seen those videos from other creators who have talked about how much money they have made on YouTube. But how much do small creators actually make? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a realistic view of what I made my very first year of being monetized so you have a better, more realistic view of what to expect after you finally get your channel monetized. Hi, I'm Laura, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through my analytics report from 2022. I didn't get monetized until August 15th of 2022, so I can only show you August, September, October, November, and December. You may have noticed that my subscriber count is only 150 subscribers, and you may be asking yourself, how are you even monetized? Like, how is that possible? It is because I have an unboxing channel that I've had for a little over two years now that did finally get monetized. Here are a couple of things you can expect to see in this video. I will be showing you how much I made on my very first day of being monetized. I will also show you my highest paying day and my lowest paying day per month. And then I will show you the grand total of how much I made for 2022 as a true small creator. I feel like there are so many videos out there where you see people sharing their analytics when they've already blown up on YouTube and they already have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of views. And I hope one day that we are all able to reach that level of success. But until then, just keep in mind that my results will vary from your results. If you are a small creator just like me, you may have made more money starting out than I made, or you could have made less money than I made starting out. There are so many different factors that go into making money on YouTube. Of course, this video is only going to be talking about the YouTube AdSense money. I'm not going to be talking about any other way that you can make money through affiliate links, through brand deals or sponsorships, because honestly, as a small creator, you don't have access to that. Here's my analytics report for the August 2022. You can see that I had 14,000 views, 1.4K watch time hours, I gained 137 subscribers, and I made $72.37 just that first month that I was monetized. And I didn't even get monetized until the 15th, because you can see right here, I was making literally $0 until the 15th and my very first day of being monetized i made nine dollars and eight cents which that is a really fantastic amount of money to make on your very first day also a little bit unrealistic that was kind of a fluke the only reason i made nine dollars and eight cents that first day was because of this video the fab fit fun fall box I was one of the very first people to get it out during the fall 2022 season and my views skyrocketed up. I mean, they jumped from my average being a couple hundred views per day, jumped all the way up to 1,200 views. And then it was 1,200 views and 1,100 views. And you could even see that it peaked before my monetization kicked in. Actually, on August 15th, I had already dropped to 844 views just for that day. And that is when my revenue started to kick in and it's on the decline. So it was only that good at first because of that video. And you will see a reoccurring trend that happens with FabFitFun that every time I put out a FabFitFun box, it'll go up a little bit. And then it kind of goes down. 549, 515, 579. Like I really did do really well my first month coming out of the gate. But even with that, I did not make enough for the minimum money. YouTube pays you once a month and you get the paycheck between the 20th to the 25th, sometime in that area. And it'll be from your previous month. But if you do not make at least $100, they will not send you anything. So I didn't get this right away. I didn't even get my first check until October. For the month of August, my highest paid day was the $9.08 and my lowest paid day was $1.57. And that was on a day that I didn't post anything. All right, so here you can see how much I made overall in September. It was less money and that was with a full 30 days. It was $69.40. Now with my views, you can see that they stayed about what their average normal is just a couple of hundred views per day 
and that's pretty much it. And you can see how often I post. Like I post almost every day. Some of them are grouped. Like I posted a kid pic on the 13th and a bark box on the 14th, but it grouped it together in the report. I don't know why it did that because sometimes you usually see it spread out like every single day. I had 6,900 views in September of 2022, 584 watch time hours. I gained 69 subscribers and I made $69.40. September 11th was my highest paid day, was $4.04 for September. And on September 11th, I posted the FabFitFun Fall Triple Crown Battle. What do you know? Another FabFitFun video. My earnings peaked that day. And then it went down from there. My lowest paid day was September 17th for $1.10, and I don't think I posted anything that day. I posted the Candy Club and then I missed posting on the 16th and the 17th. And you can see the dramatic drop that it made after I stopped posting. Now let's take a look at October. Okay, so for October 1st to October 31st, you can see that my monthly revenue went down again. Even though there's 31 days in October, $66.97 for the total month. I had 6,700 views. 572 watch time hours, 79 subscribers gained, and then the 66.97 is how much I made. You can see right here, my peak was $4.48 on October 6th, and on that day, oh, I had the Halloween edition of Once Upon a Book Club come out. Once Upon a Book Club, my book boxes tend to do better and tend to earn me more revenue, but the Halloween edition one did really well. And then it dropped down from there and my lowest paid day, ooh, you would think it would be that 97 cents, but it wasn't. My lowest paid day was actually 69 cents on October 18th. And here you'll see that I took a huge gap off. I think I took a whole week off from posting and that's what it did to my ad revenue. I had like a random spike this day, but pretty much it was low. And I took that week off to help prepare for the 25 boxes of Christmas that I do every single December. Let's move on to November. I had my highest paid month of $90.44. My views were still, like we had a little bit of a spike here. So 8,400 views in November, 724 watch hours, gained 82 subscribers, and made $90.44. And you can see here that I was making a couple of dollars a day. It did jump up to 563 on November 5th. And November 5th, I posted that All True box. And that was really big at the time. There was a lot going on with All True, and a lot of people were wanting to see what was going on with it and what was going to continue to go on with it. But then it dropped back down and then you see another huge spike here. So this was my highest paid day on Wednesday, November 9th with $8.10 for the day. Now what came out on November 9th? The winter Fat Fun box. You see in the trend here? Like are you starting to pick up on it? So with this one, it starts trending down because the views start trending down. And then my lowest paid day was this day on November 22nd for 94 cents. I didn't post anything that day. It was just a day. And BoxyCharm videos also did not do very well for me on my channel. They didn't get the views. They just weren't making any money. So we have this one, it goes down. And then I had this post and that was a FabFitFun triple crown battle in the winter. So it peaked back up because it was another FabFitFun unboxing. And then it trended all the way back down to its normal pattern. And you can see it's even getting less and less towards the end of the month, a dollar, two dollars a day. For the month of December, I made $96.54. I had 10,900 views, 1,100 watch hours. I gained 72 subscribers and I made $96.54. And a lot of that is attributed to the fact that I was posting every day, but also there was a lot of engagement with it being the 25 boxes of Christmas. I still didn't even make enough that month to get a paycheck the next month. You know, it seems like ever since I've started getting monetized, I only get paid every other month and it's about $150 every other month. And so that's pretty much what's still trending now. You will see that my highest paid day was December 15th for $6.65. That was kind of an odd day 
for me to make a lot of money. And I actually had to go back and do some research as to why I made that much that day because those two videos didn't really perform all that well. And when I went back and looked at the details, it was because there was this random kid pick unboxing. Someone had watched one of my older kid pick unboxings and for the ad revenue, I made like $2 and something just off of that one video with one view. And my only guess is that the person who was watching that ad clicked on it and actually bought something. And so that is why the ad revenue was so much on that one video from that one view. So yeah, my highest paid day was $6.65. My lowest paid day was right, oh, no, all the way at the end, so December 31st for $1.48. So my total money that I made for all of 2022 was $395.72 and that was it. That was how much I made from August 15th all the way to December 15th. I know it's not a lot, like it really isn't, but it is better than the nothing I was making before and that is just what I keep telling myself. You know, hopefully it just keeps going. But with some of these in-depth looks, you can see how much of a difference it made when you got more views on a video compared to when you got less views and how that translated into ad revenue. Now, of course, that is not always the case. Sometimes you can make more money off of a video that has less views because it just depends on your engagement that you have with the audience. Are they watching the videos all the way through? Did they click on something and make a purchase like that random kid pick video? But that was my realistic view of what you can expect. Now everybody is a little bit different. Mine average a couple hundred views per video. And so that is why I only make about a dollar to two dollars a day. So that's what you can expect if you're getting the same kind of views as me. I hope you enjoyed this realistic view into what small time creators truly make and I mean truly small time creators. If you found any of this information helpful or if you have any questions about analytics, just let me know down below. I am also going to be doing a video coming out soon that will have a quick tutorial on how to do some easy editing in iMovie. So if you have any questions about that, please put that in the comments below so that I can address them in the next video. Please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye everyone.